can hire. You can tell he hasn't been going because this is just pathetic. I don't know what to expect from CrossFit at all. I don't know much about it. I feel like everything I know about CrossFit is just things that I've heard from other people or in the movies. I've taken one CrossFit class before and it was a really hard workout. Hard enough that I thought I would never return. I imagine it's gonna be someone towering over me telling me very loudly that I'm not trying hard enough. Cause I probably won't be. The energy of everyone working out together I'm sure helps, but I'm not a very competitive person when it comes to this sort of thing. That kind of like camaraderie really puts me off. At the end of the day, my goal is to remain alive. This might not be my cup of tea, but we'll find out. The first day was brutal. It looked like a gym for RoboCops. It's like really hot in there. I've never sweat so much. Like I've done hot yoga and I feel like I've never been that disgusting before. One of the interesting things about CrossFit is that every day is a different workout, which is why it's called the workout of the day. You know that it's gonna be Olympic weightlifting combined with high intensity interval training and that you're gonna be dead. So at minute one, we're gonna start with 15 wall balls. Finish your wall balls, you have the rest of the minute to rest. When the second minute turns, you start your pull-ups. You finish those out, have the rest of the minute to rest. And we're gonna basically follow that pattern for 20 minutes. We did a bunch of wall balls. It was like cruel and unusual punishment. So a wall ball is this thing where you just uh, pick up a big, heavy-ass ball and you throw it at a wall over and over, like Sisyphus. If anyone ever says, hey, you want to do some wall balls? Just be like, ah, eh, off. The delirium setting in. There you go, you got it. Those so endorphins are coming out of those. Woo! And it's all over. Good job, good job, good job. Good job. Drink lots of water maybe get a coconut water, get some electrolytes in you. You might hear a record. You're an inspiration. I feel like I only sweat like that in a sauna. It was about what I expected, which is uh, pretty rough. I just left like, I don't know if I can ever go back and do this again. I want to die. <laughs> and I have two more months of it, so. I, I mean, I don't smell like myself. I smell like many people's sweat combined. Waking up for class was probably the hardest part about it. And about. 20 to 30 minutes, I'm gonna be in a very hot room, yelling and sweating. You didn't get real tired of waking up early, but then afterward, well, look, I'm ready to work. I could, I could swallow the world whole right now. So I'd go to CrossFit from seven to eight, and then I'd have from eight to nine to like rush home, get ready and come into work. And so I always looked like a bag of ass coming into work. They hurt so bad. All right, well, this is our midway point. I don't feel that different. I feel like the workouts have gotten easier and then more difficult and then easier again. It's just so varied that it doesn't feel like something you can ever prepare for. It's been a good jump start to working out, and after this, I can't complain about any workouts that I ever do. All right, well, here's to another month. Uh, cheers. I don't know, like a month in, I couldn't go on a Monday. And so I made it up on Tuesday, and Shane wasn't there. I saw Macy's name and time on the board because she was going to the class right before me, but I never saw Shane's name. I suspected that maybe he was going on a different day. Sometimes your schedule's a little crazy. And then I went Wednesday, Shane wasn't there. Yeah, I started uh, really, really slipping. And I was like, when is he going? I just straight up lied to Macy's face. But she got more sleuthy than I did. Today, I'm going to the Tuesday class. I'm gonna ask the trainer, Ethan, if he's been coming. For a while, I got away with it. Last time he's been in, has been 8.21 on Friday at 7 a.m. What? Oh my God, he's in so much yeah, trouble. Definitely. So we decided we needed to punish him. We're here to shame Shane. That's the name of the workout today. <laughs> so we had the two trainers surprise him at his desk. Hey Shane, we have some visitors for you. I saw the two CrossFit instructors walk in. That's not a thing you want to see. It was like waking up and seeing a vampire in your room. Yeah. We figured that it'd be fair to kind of bring the workout to you. Sure. So we're gonna do a set amount of burpees and wall balls per day that we've missed. Okay, all right. I just gleefully accepted because here's the thing. They thought it was a punishment, but to me I was like, great. I've skipped numerous classes. I don't know if the little cheerleader outfit was necessary. <laughs> He's going to be doing 11 rounds of 10 wall balls and then 10 burpees. Shane, 
make your way to the wall. I didn't mean lean against it. You know, watching that punishment was somewhat satisfying because it was in the middle of the work day. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was funny. It was one of the low points of my life, but once again, entirely worth it. Nice. It's a lot of fun. Wish I did this every afternoon. He met the challenge head on, however long it took him, with good spirits, and that's really what it's all about. For our last class, we invited some of our coworkers, two of whom are like really big CrossFitters, and then Ryan, just because, you know, look at him. Let's go, let's do it. That was the most brutal workout that we had to do, and I think that that was a great end note because the three of us felt totally sick. It was mostly cool to see Ryan like struggle through it. And he looked like he was gonna throw up a couple times. Sweating vodka. And to be fair, I also almost threw up. And then obviously Kate and Jordan kicked all of our asses because somehow they actually love CrossFit. Not cut out for CrossFit. <laughs> yeah, you are. I think CrossFit is good for anyone at any skill level to push themselves past what they think their capabilities are. It was cool to like challenge myself and see that I was stronger than I thought I was. I could see how it appeals to a lot of people. There's like a great group mentality. The instructors like Ethan and Mike were awesome and super supportive. So I can definitely see how people form their CrossFit gym into this community. I mean, CrossFit is fun too. Like I'm not a person who's into team sports at all. I don't really like high fives or round of applause, but there was something nice about feeling accomplished and having someone near you confirm that you that you lived through that workout. Yeah, Rocco. You know, it was nice dipping my toe in the water for a little while. It was a good dip. Never gonna do it again.